Hello everyone, uh, Jeff here. I'm hoping there's enough light in this video to be able to see things properly because it's kind of uh, dim and overcast out here. So we're going to do our best. So bear with me. Um, as I was uploading yesterday's video that I made for uh, Brad's contest, uh, H2 Vinyl, I, the mail arrived and four packages, um, all addressed to me, arrived. And um, the first package, I, I already knew what it was because it was an Amazon box, and it was the um, it was the new um, bootleg series by Bob Dylan, the uh, More Blood, More Tracks vinyl edition, the double vinyl edition. Um, I saw that Andy Borders had posted a picture of it that he was playing it a day or two previous, and I commented that, oh, I want to get that, you know, because I do. <laughs> and he goes, oh, you should. It's real cheap right now on Amazon. And it was like, I think, 15 or 16 bucks. So I couldn't resist. I ordered it. It arrived. I, I told my wife. I, I didn't even open it. I just set it aside. I said, do me a favor. <laughs> just wrap this for me and put it under the tree. <laughs> I felt bad buying, you know, new records so close to Christmas, but like I said, it was a deal I just couldn't resist. So that was the first package. Um, the second one was a uh, couple of records that I'd bought off the one of the um, record selling groups on Facebook. Um, I think I'd mentioned this a couple videos back. I bought a couple of Ray Charles albums and those arrived. Uh, first one being What I Say. This is an uh, album he released on Atlantic. And speaking of record labels, this is uh, this is an Atlantic label that I've not seen before. Um, it's this purple and silver Atlantic label. So this side, somebody's got somebody wrote a B on on this side, but uh, it. Uh, Supposedly, this guy rated these at VG Plus when he sold them. And I don't know, It maybe it doesn't look like there's many scuffs on it or scratches. It probably, I'm going to run it through the cleaner anyway. I'm going to clean it and hope for the best. So that was the, uh, the first album of his that I'd got. And the other one was Ray Charles' Greatest Hits. I don't know why all of a sudden I'm buying and getting all these Ray Charles albums, but I'm not complaining. So <laughs> here's the uh, songs that are on it. Here's the back. And this one. I'm, I'm becoming obsessed with record labels now to, because of this contest that Brad's running. I've always loved record labels, but this one, this one is on the ABC Paramount label. This one was listed as VG also, and that's this is probably closer to VG than the other one, but again, we'll clean it, play it, and, and we'll see. Speaking of, uh, this is bonus content for Brad's contest. I'm not expecting any more entries. This is just bonus content. This ABC Paramount label that you see always reminds me of the 45 that my ma had that I I probably still have in my stacks of 45s of um, the song It's All Right by The Impressions. It was on this ABC Paramount label. It was on a 45. So this is actually the first album that I've got that has this label. So when I saw this, you know, when I first looked at the record yesterday, that was the first thing that popped into my head. <laughs> probably because I just made the contest video and I'm looking at all these different record labels and searching my memory. For things but <laughs> go figure so this was the other um, album and then uh the third package was vclt from linda leg um a couple weeks ago <clears throat> when i'd showed the chicago 8 album it's the one with the cardinal on the cover he uh reached out to me and said hey i've got oh i, I mentioned the iron on transfer that i remember that came with the record so he uh reached out to me he goes hey i've got 
you know, a spare set of the Iron On transfer and the poster, which I, I didn't know there was a poster that came with the, the album also. And he goes, if you want it, you know, I can just send it to you. So I said, great, cool. So um, that arrived yesterday. So let me quickly pull these out and show you what I'm talking about. This is the, this is the Iron On for Chicago with instructions. Of course, um, as much as I would love to put this on a t-shirt, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'll keep it as is, original. And the poster, I don't know, it's kind of big. I'm gonna see if I can show this uh, quickly. If you, if you can hold it back like this. Hopefully you can see it. I can't see if y'all can see the whole thing. I, they had this uh, they had this theme going for this album. The inside gatefold had this kind of cover with like a cop chasing them. They're all in a station wagon or, or something. <laughs> so um, this will go with my Chicago 8 album. Um, thank you, Andre. But besides that, he also included a couple of 45s by REM. Uh, first one, and they had, and it came with picture sleeves, the first one being Radio Free Europe. And he's got them in nice, nice bags. Here's the back of the picture sleeve. And here is the 45. This is the B-side, uh, the song There She Goes Again. And here is the A side, Radio for Europe. So that was pretty cool. That, that was a complete surprise. I didn't, uh, certainly didn't expect that. And he sent me another one, which is of South Central Rain, which is also, in the, and these 45s are in immaculate condition. Let me show you. Here's the front of the picture sleeve. Here's the back, and of course, the record itself, also on the classic IRS label that Brad always associates with the Go-Go's, <laughs> and I've always associated with R.E.M., and the B-side is King of the Road. So, I'm a, I think these B-sides are, I don't think these come off, off of the album, so... They don't sound familiar to me. I don't re recall um, coming across them in the REM albums that I've been playing. So that's pretty cool. So uh, once again, Andre, thank you for the Chicago extras and for the REM 45s. They're much appreciated. I've got your address. I know you told me not to send you anything in return. And I can't right now anyway. But, you know, down the road... Maybe someday something will come up and I'll be able to send you something. So we'll just uh, we'll just hope for the best down the road. So, but thank you, I appreciate it very, very much. Appreciate it. And finally, the fourth package was from my buddy Brad. <laughs> um, this is all about you, Brad. Jeez, these last two videos are all about you, dude. I love you, man. Uh, he had sent me. VCLT, and um, I couldn't wait with t with opening them. I wasn't, I couldn't wait another whole day and then spend all the time opening them on camera. So I, I saved you the uh, the uh, excitement of watching me cut through tape and open boxes. So we're just going to get to the good stuff. Um, I was really surprised when I saw this record that he sent me, and. Um, it's one that I remember him showing on one of his videos. And um, I'll just show it. Uh, it's, uh, I'll take it out of the uh, bag here. But this is a Portishead album. Roseland NYC Live. And um, it's a double live album. Still in the shrink wrap. He just uh, slit the side, so it's still in the shrink. So apologies for the glare. I'm going to show this here. Here's the back. You can see the songs, hopefully. 
without glare. And um, yeah, I remember him showing this, and I think I made a comment about it because I I heard I only know Portishead through that song uh, "Sour Times," which was a big radio hit here in back in the '90s. And uh, this album came out in 1998. And let me show you quickly the records here. He's got uh, he's got them both in mofi sleeves, which is much appreciated. And uh, here is I'll just show you one of the records. They all look the same. Brand new. Doesn't look like it's ever been played. Very, very nice. And um, the inner sleeves, the original inners, he also included with the um, records. Here's the other one. And it also came with a poster. Let's see if I can uh, grab this here and show it quickly. You don't see records, newer, newer records coming with posters anymore. It's pretty cool. It's actually a double-sided poster. This is one side of it, and it says here, Portis Head. And then on the other side, you've got this. So, which is a larger version of the cover of the album. So, that was very cool. And the one bonus that I wasn't expecting is Brad's labels that he put that he puts on all of his album uh outer sleeves when i'd seen that he done these i'm thinking to myself man that's something that would be right up my alley it would be a massive project though but it would be something that i could do you know pieces at a time and um I'm glad to actually have this because it gives me the idea for the format if I do decide to go ahead and do this because it's a good idea to, to keep some sort of record, huh, record, accounting, I, I guess, if you will, be a good alternate word, of, of the albums you own and, you know, just basic information about them because it's pretty impossible to remember everything about every single album especially if you have large collections but hold on I got to get out of my chair again I have to get my glasses because the print on this is very very small and yes I'm old enough now to need readers so um, he's got on here um, all kinds of information besides you know the title the genre the year it was released the vinyl condition, the cover condition, any notes. And it's funny, he put a little message to me on this label, which was another surprise. Let me see if I can read this. The print, the print is very small. It says, uh, Merry Christmas, Jeff. This is my favorite trip hop album, and I hope you enjoy. And there's a little smiley face on there, too. Uh... Manager at Park Avenue C C D, Tom, rang me up when I purchased this album, and he laughed when I asked if it was an original pressing. Ha ha. I had to check to be sure. I would have always wondered if it was or wasn't. Ha ha. Also, the 2008 pressing may have had wrongly centered labels. And I wanted to check. And I wanted to check that too. It doesn't. The name Portis Head came from a coastal town close to Bristol, England. So, wow, this was quite the surprise, Brad. Thank you so much. I really appreciate this. Um, like I said, I I don't know. I, I know of Portishead, but I don't really know their music beyond the one song. So um, with this being your favorite album by them, your favorite live album as well, and your favorite trip hop album, I'm very, very anxious to play this. And I'll be playing this hopefully soon. With the holidays, you know, it's been tough. I haven't played very many records 
at all this week. Um, besides, you know, especially with my uh, schedule changes that I've had, I've been bouncing around a lot all week. But rest assured, I'm off next week. You know, I'm off Christmas week, so I'm sure I will have the time to play it then. So, uh, thank you so much, Brad. I, I really appreciate it. You're, you're a heck of a guy. And um, I'm glad that, uh, that we're friends here in the VC. So, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to do one more thing that I promised I, I would do in uh, one of my Facebook posts. I received the newest vault package from Third Man Records. So I thought I would quickly show this to you, like I seem to do every time I get one of these. Um, this time around, it is the 10th anniversary reissue of Consolers of the Lonely by the Recon Tours. Um, I'm not as familiar with this album as I am with their first album, uh, Broken Boy Soldiers. Um, but I'm very happy, obviously, to get this. It is, I'll try to show you the whole thing. It, it folds out uh, into three, <laughs> here we go. Hopefully you can see this. And the vinyl is very, very cool. Let me pull one of these out to show you. Now, when it comes to record labels, Third Man um, spares no expense. They go all out when it comes to their record labels. Check that out for a record label. Check that out for a record. Look at that. It's like copper foil in the dead wax there and bronze colored vinyl. Really cool stuff. This is right up there with... Um, it's a close second to their uh, Trout Mask Replica vinyl. That's probably the prettiest vinyl that I own currently. This is close. This comes in a close second. And it's probably not showing up too well on camera with the light, but there's all kinds of streaks and um, different shades of bronze in the vinyl itself. So this is a very, very cool looking album. And I'm sure the music will be just as good. But um, once again, play this whenever I've got the time. <laughs> and um, it also comes with <clears throat> some photos that are on um, printed on very thick cardstock of all the different members of the band. Here's one of... Jack White. Sorry for the glare. Sorry for the fumbling around here. Things are kind of sliding off my lap because it's all shiny. This is a Brendan Benson. They've got their initials on the back here. And I don't know all the other members of the Rat Contours besides Jack and Brendan, but. Here's the pictures of that. And then it also came with a couple of other items. It came with a patch for any of you who uh, want to sew it on your rocker jean jacket. <laughs> That's what it says on the, on the card. Of course, we've got the card telling you everything that's in the package itself. And... Last but not least, it also came with a set of these metallic themed stickers. So, once again, apologies for the glare, but that is the latest vault package from Third Man. Consolers of the Lonely, 10th anniversary. Um, <clears throat> also... Very quickly, I'm just showing you my, my other two pickups that I got recently. I got Songs for Judy by Neil Young. This one just arrived last week. This is the part of his uh, archives series. This was from a concert in uh, 1976, and this is more of an acoustic-themed um, album. 
These are all, I believe these are all acoustic versions of this, uh, of these songs, which is pretty, pretty apropos considering the set list. Looks like a lot of things are off of his early albums and Harvest. And finally, because of Andrew, uh, Tales from the Crate, and also because of, from Brad, because he showed this album too, I tracked down the Zephyr album. <laughs> uh, found this on eBay. The price was, eh, you know, but the condition was good. So um, I've heard snippets of this album and, of course, a lot of good comments from Brad and Andrew. And they're two guys whose uh, opinions I respect. So I am uh, added this to my collection. Finally was able to track down one of these and uh, looking forward to listening to this as well. So there you go. Okay, this went a little bit longer than I expected. Sorry about that. Um, once again, thank you to Andre and Brad for the VCLT. And um, thank you to Bill uh, from the Vinylverse. I got a Christmas card from Bill yesterday as well, which was very cool. And um, I also got one from Bobby Z. Bobby Z sent me a Christmas card too, which was pretty surprising and cool too. So thank you for that, Bobby. Um, all right. Um, thank you everyone for watching. Thank you for making it to the end and thank you for liking and commenting and subscribing. So until next time, peace, Merry Christmas, everyone. And I will hopefully see you again soon.